watching AMS TV. Now if you put a properly charged battery into your AK-47 and it doesn't fire, don't panic. You more than likely just have a blown fuse. This is a very common problem and it's quite easy to fix. These guns are manufactured overseas, most of them, and oftentimes they come with a fuse that is not of the highest quality or the fuse has been damaged in transit. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, little guy, and you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. These are optional. You don't absolutely need these, but they do help. And you need a 20 or a 25 amp fuse. Oh yeah, and a little bit of patience. Now step one, you're going to remove the bolt cover by pressing the button at the back and then lift to remove. Step two, disconnect and then remove the battery. Step three, now locate the screw on the top left of the gun. Now you're going to want to unscrew this using your small Phillips head screwdriver. Put this screw somewhere safe because you do not want to lose this. Step four, pull back the dust cover and locate the forwardmost screw, the one towards the muzzle of the gun. This is the screw that holds the hop-up adjustment knob into place. Now you're going to remove the screw using your Phillips head screwdriver and then using your needle nose pliers you can carefully pull out this hop-up adjustment knob and the screw. Otherwise you can tilt it into your hand. Step 5. Connected to the button you push to remove the bolt cover is a spring tension rod. Push this forward slightly and disconnect the rod from the button. Some AK's tension rods are permanently affixed to the button, so don't panic if this is the case. Uh, you can remove both the button as well as the tension rod. Step 6. Now pull back slightly and lift off this assembly cover and put it aside for a moment. You will now be able to see your fuse. Step 7. Note there is a tiny spring located in the body which assists your spring tension rod. You do not want to lose this either, so it may be wise to remove it. You can accomplish this by using your needle nose pliers. Step 8. You are now ready to remove the fuse and inspect it. It is not uncommon for the fuse to appear to be fine when in fact it is damaged. Step 9. Replace the fuse with a 20 or 25 amp fuse. You can also use electrical tape to secure the fuse to the connectors if you would like. Next, seat the fuse assembly back securely into the gun. Step 10. You are now ready to reassemble your gun. Tuck your Tamiya connector wires partially into the receiver of the gun so you can remount your assembly. Step 11. Take the spring you removed and reinsert it into the body. Step 12. Being careful not to pinch the wires, insert the assembly nose first. Step 13, it's now time to reinsert the spring tension rod into your release button. Pull forward towards the muzzle of the gun and insert it into the end of the button. Step 14, insert the top screw and tighten it down. Step 15, now pull back the dust cover or ejection port and using your needle nose pliers, Place your hop-up adjustment dial and screw in place and then tighten down using your Phillips head screwdriver. Step 16. Connect your battery and carefully tuck the excess wires into the body. Step 17. You are now ready to put the top cover back onto your AK. Insert it muzzle side first and then push firmly down until the button pops out. You should now have a fully operational, fully functional AK with a fresh fuse. Now go strike fear into the hearts of your opponents.